when, when, when the cases start spiking, you actually need more contact tracers. There's some cities around the country who don't have enough contact tracers based on the level of the, of the cases that they're getting at that, at that rate. So what the state does is supplements the contact tracers we already have. As the numbers increase, they have to call more people. And we need to call them expeditiously and not call them four days later, five days later. And that's, that's why the rapid tests are important. Because if the test results don't come back, we're hoping people stay in the house until they get the results. But that's not always the case. And so we need to get them the results quick, and we need to trace them quicker. And so we need more contact tracers to help us trace people and make the calls quicker than two or three days out. And we need more uh, the test to get back rapidly so we can have the results quicker. And that's what the state is helping us with. They've done this in other parts of the state, and it helped reduce the numbers in those areas. And so we had a conversation with them, uh, with Judy Persicelli, with the governor himself, with, uh, with the, his, the law uh, people in the front office. And this is what they're going to help us with. And, and I'm confident in that. Yes. All right. Shalom. Want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole for elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Newark, New Jersey, shut down, second wave, starts tomorrow, all right, which is uh, October, October the 27th, okay, October the 27th, which is a Tuesday. And uh, supposedly it's supposed to be for two weeks, but as you hear from this character's mouth, Raz Baraka, and I say character because he's doing nothing but playing a role of an actor, all right, to play out this uh, agenda, which is uh, order sit down from these elites, which is happening all around the world to play the game, all right, which is gradualism and conditioning. And, uh, they're saying it's for two weeks, but as he said, it can go on to January until the vaccine come. You know, they keep pushing uh, these vaccines, you know, to be the hero. But really, it's going to be that, that mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip. Okay, it's really what they want to say. But it's a little extreme to just right off the bat tell people to get uh, a chip in their arm. So they're using what? Gradualism, conditioning. And those are two words you could look up and you could check out to get the meaning of and then you would understand what is happening in the world today in which we're living in, all right? Under this, uh, this uh, invisible virus, scamdemic, plandemic, okay? So you have this wave, a second wave here in Newark, which he wants to implement starting tomorrow. And uh, I'm going to play a little bit, but I ain't playing the whole video, all right? And, um, you know, basically, he wants to uh, shut down Nork and certain areas. And he made mention of the Ironbound section. Now, for people who don't know, here in the Ironbound section, it's a lot of Portuguese and Northern, all right? And, you know, during this scamdemic that we've been in, since March, May, whatever, the beginning of this year, 2019, you know, that down, down there, they have never fully, you know, went, went with the agenda, okay? The agenda of social distancing and, and uh, isolation and so on. So I can see why he wants to go down there and lock that down to make them respect the agenda. You know, hey, we're at a time where anything is liable to happen, man. This is why the men of the Lord, you know, you know, preach the uh, words of faith, the gospel of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, constantly always talking about faith because, you know, these guys that's supposed to be tough and carnal and think they got this thing in the back pocket, you're gonna be sadly mistaken when your world get broken up by your enemy, all right? So anyway, let's play a little bit and I'll read a scripture. One new positive COVID cases, 101 of those cases were out of Newark alone, which means that we have more cases in Newark than the rest of the county did. And uh, here we are going into a second wave, 
but this is Bible prophecy, all right? Because, you know, everything has an, has an end, okay? And America is on its way out, okay? They're trying to reform, rebuild, break down, rebuild, and, uh, you know, rebuild us into this new uh, way of living, you know? Isolation, social distancing, never to touch, you know, each other or be close to each other, can't touch items and money, Everything has this, an invisible virus on it. You know, they got the whole world playing house. You know, playing house, make believe. But it's for, it's for the real reason is of Yahweh Bashimi Awashai, okay, to bring this thing to an end, which is of Esau's kingdom, okay? So it's not done for no reason, no matter how silly it sounds and how silly it gets, you know, it's all. Uh, in the agenda of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, okay, for Esau to destroy himself in his own kingdom. All right, so let's continue. Fine. As of Friday, the 23rd, Newark had 10,041 positive cases and 673 people unfortunately succumbed uh, to the virus uh, since we began. Now, notice he said 670 some people succumb to the virus since we began that's adding all the way up from from when it started that's not talking about from this uh summer and and now he's talking about from when it came I believe in may or whatever march whatever it came in this year Shit. not that surprising uh because that's where most of the nightlife restaurants, events. Information for Newark, we do uh, a different kind of analysis than the test does, than, than the state does. And best positivity rate of 11.2% using the three-day rolling average in comparison to New Jersey's test positivity rate of 5.28%. It's, it's also important to note that for the last few months, Newark's test positivity rate has been below the state's test positivity rate average. We have actually been doing better than the state uh, for the last several months. Now we are at 11.2 and the state is at 5.28%. So the state is rising, but we're rising faster than them. Based on the testing information for Newark, we do uh, a different kind of analysis than the, test do, than, than the state does. And based on our test uh, positivity rate, we were at 11.8%. And uh, we haven't been that high since May 23rd. So Newark hasn't had this high rate since May 23rd. Uh, uh, we were at 11.8%. Uh, and unfortunately, the East Ward or 07105 zip code, 07105 test positivity rate was at 25.3%. See, and that's going into the Ironbound. All right. Uh, I can't really pin every mark on here what he said. I watched it. You know, you could go look this video up. You know, it's supposed to be breaking news. And uh, it's big because he has the mainstream media there. And um, he's basically the first, I guess, on the East to be, uh, to basically be bringing uh, a second wave of things. And, you know, it's going to be New York. Connecticut and following cities, neighboring cities gonna do the same. So anyway, this is uh Habakkuk chapter two. And uh you know I'll start at one. Start at one. It says I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I'm reproved. Now all the men of the Lord who claim to be teachers and prophets all these different camps as our apostles and elders taught us to be watchmen as the scriptures say all right every last one of these men who are in israel and have some sort of ministry and that's teaching their people that we're israelites they should be doing videos they should be getting this news and being watchmen as well all right because if you don't watch, you're going to get caught like a thief in the night. You know, 
And another thing, when you get caught like a thief, all right, you know, you end up making wrong decisions in which, in which if you had an understanding, you would not have made that retaliating uh, decision, you know? So what comfort us is this word. What comfort us is that we know, we have the knowing, all right? What's gonna keep us stable? The knowledge and the wisdom, you know? Cause this shit is silly and i was pissed off hearing this shit but then again it's got to go down this way and you know what this is a blessing because it's to keep you not getting comfortable you know we're in the flesh and it's a blessing in disguise is what i want to say because it keeps you when you look at it that way it keeps you not getting comfortable you know we in the flesh you know we want to live but unfortunately, we're in times where perilous times, evil times is, is, is on us, okay? And it's only going to get worse. You know, it's like a countdown, you know, to the bomb. Matter of fact, Esau has his own uh, doomsday clock, okay? So they're calculating, you know, this destruction. Meanwhile, they also uh, doing auto abkeo, having it controlled. A controlled destruction is what Esau is planning, but the Most High is going to interfere, and that's that uh, divine intervention, and that's what they don't understand. So it says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. It says, and Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read it. So it's important for men of the Lord to be on their job and to report what you have seen, you know, so that the hopeful elect, the sheep of Yahweh Shai, can get the uh, understanding and then they can get the stability by the wisdom behind it, the knowledge and wisdom, man. And I don't know why the Spirit, I mean, saying that verse so much. But uh, it just keep coming back out, you know. Uh, it says, verse 3, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely, excuse me, it will surely come, it will not tarry. So what is the vision? What is not going to tarry? These prophecies. We're in that stage headed into the force of the microchip, which is the mark of the beast. Right now, we're in a stage of being forced to take a vaccination, okay? And they don't want to come out and just tell you you're going to be forced and taking this vaccine. It's gradualism. It's conditioning. Either way, either way, you can't buy or sell all right, you're not going to be a part of the system. So that's being forced, no matter which way you look at it. All right. This is why we pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to, to uh, exempt us from the hours of temptation. Because that's what we're approaching. You know, and can't forget about the great war of Armageddon. That's going to really end all things, which is of Esau. All right. So that's basically it, you know. So lock it for my strong breathing. I'm actually taking a walk, and I uh, just wanted to be in the spirit. I saw this, thought to report. Hopefully you're edified. You know, continue to do your due diligence on your own as well. You know, for younger brothers to uh, really get get this truth. You know. So with that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, Bashem Rakakudash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. Shalom.